So I have an NX workspace here, which has a demo application here. It has also a library, which is called Greeter. And a Greeter has a very simple component, which basically prints out this greeting. Now that component is what I basically exported from that library. And then I import that library up in my demo app. So if we go to the app module, you can see how I import here the Greeter module. I reference it here. And if you go then to the app component in the coding HTML file here, we reference that component. And so that's why you see that component greeting being printed out here. Now, what I would like to show you is how we can actually ship assets with our library down here. Because assume for instance, we have that greeter component. And what I would like to do here is to ship an image. And so I have here my source tag. Let's also add some height equal 30 and width equals 98. So these are heights and width which are nice with my image, which I'm going to paste in in a second. And what I would like to do is to ship that image with this library, because I assume that this is basically a library which has kind of like some presentational components and they have come with SVG files or images or even CSS files, which I would like to ship to the, my user directly with the library. I don't want to have that the user has to take those images and copy them manually in his own assets folder, right? So they should be bundled with the greeter because that makes sense. And so what we can do here is in our source folder, we can just create a new assets folder. Just as we have for application, And then let's copy in here an image. For now, I'm pasting in here our now logo, which is an SVG image. And then I'm referencing that here directly in my source image tag. So what I do is I see something like assets. And I like to scope that assets by name library name. So in this case, I would say greeter. And then I will have that novel logo.svg, which is basically the file which I just copied in. So this is basically the path I expect my asset to be delivered when the browser runs. But you can already see here on the browser side, which has refreshed in the meantime, that image is kind of broken. So it seems like the image here, that asset doesn't get served. The reason is that we need to add some configuration to the Angular JSON. And so if we go down here in the application actually, so we have that root folder, the demo app, which is currently running here. And the demo application has some configuration here, which we can pass to the builder, which is assets. And by default, the fav icon is being copied as well as the assets folder of the application itself. So which would be this one here. But we also want to deliver the ones from our greeter library. And so what we can do here is we can use this more advanced configuration here of the assets. So not like just a string, but we can pass in here an object. And we can say the input in this case should come from the libs, greeter, source, assets. And the glob pattern matching should be something like this. Now, obviously, you could customize this. So to just like include CSS files or just include like SVG or images. But for now, let's just go with everything. And the output should be on assets. And I would like to, to scope it, as I mentioned before. So I would like to put this, put this into a separate directory, which is just for our library. So in that way, you can have multiple ones and they wouldn't conflict with each other. So let's save this again. Let's fire up here our compiler just to make sure it picks up the new changes. And now you can see how it refreshed and it properly shows the logo up here. So this is a really great way to bundle assets within your library and ship them with the, with the library itself. Now, obviously this is kind of tedious whenever you generate a new library or assets for a library to basically remember to have to go to the Angular JSON and to add that to the according assets configuration of the application. And this is actually a good place where you could use a workspace schematic, which NX supports, to actually create a custom schematic, which will make sure that whenever you create a library and you also add assets, that it will also automatically configure the according application assets configuration the Angular JSON.